Do you get cramps in your foot? If so, you know how incredibly painful they can be. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to help. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'll explain what causes cramps in your foot, how you can prevent them, and how to get them to go away fast if you do happen to get a cramp in your foot. Now, there are several different things that can cause cramps in your foot, so I'll go through them one by one and then explain a solution for each cause. Now, the first thing that can cause muscle cramps in your foot is dehydration or electrolyte imbalance. Now, to understand why that happens, you first have to understand a little bit about how normal muscle physiology works. And this can be quite complex. It will help you to understand the solutions a little bit better, but if you're just not interested, you can skip forward to the next section of this video. Normally, your muscles have a membrane potential where the inside of the cell is slightly more negative than the outside of the cell, and sodium is maintained on the outside of the cell and potassium inside the cell. This happens by sodium-potassium pumps. Now, when your brain sends a signal to your muscles to contract, it sends a signal along your nerves, which release a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine onto the muscle. That signal then makes the sodium channels open so that sodium rushes into the cell and the inside of the cell goes from being negative to positively charged. That sends a signal along the cell membrane, which travels through something called the T-tubules and into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. I know that's a mouthful, but that sarcoplasmic reticulum, or SR for short, contains calcium. And calcium then gets released into the cell. That calcium binds with a molecule called troponin. And when calcium binds with troponin, troponin moves another molecule called tropomyosin off of binding sites between actin, the thin filament in your muscles, and myosin, the thick filament. Now, when that happens, myosin binds with actin, and it causes it to kind of ratchet and shorten the muscle. That will continue as long as the electrical signal from the nerve is maintained, and as long as you have enough energy or ATP and there's enough calcium present in the cell. Now, if you're dehydrated, if you don't have enough water, that increases the relative concentration of sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium in your cells. So just drinking enough water is really important. Ideally, you need at least eight glasses a day, but some studies say up to 10 to 16 glasses a day. That's particularly important in warmer weather or if you're particularly active and sweating a lot. Additionally, magnesium can be a helpful supplement. Magnesium maintains the membrane potential and it helps stabilize the cell so that it's not oversensitive. It can prevent excessive amounts of calcium from being released from the SR into the muscle and thus it can help prevent muscle cramps. Additionally, it's important to get enough sodium and potassium, but particularly potassium. Most people don't have to worry too much about getting sodium in a normal Western diet, but some people can become deficient in potassium, which is why people often recommend eating bananas if you're having muscle cramps. So that's the nutritional aspect of muscle cramps. Now, what about actual muscle imbalances? When a muscle is shortened across several joints, for example, two joint muscles like the calves or the hamstrings, that can cause the muscle to cramp. We talked earlier about the myosin and actin filaments that act like ratchets to shorten the muscle. But when the muscle is shortened across several joints, those myosin and actin filaments overlap maximally. The muscle can't contract any further, and when it tries to contract in that shortened position, that can lead to muscle cramps. So if you do happen to get muscle cramps, particularly if you get them first thing in the morning when you've been lying in bed with your foot pointed down like that all night long, a good thing to do is to stretch out your calf and foot muscles. Your calf crosses both your knee and your ankle, and your toe flexors 
your flexor hallucis longus and your flexor digitorum longus, they cross both your ankle and your foot joints. And so doing a stretch by pulling your toes back like that while pulling your ankle back with your knee straight stretches out both the toe flexors as well as the calf muscles and can help stop a muscle cramp if you do happen to get a muscle cramp. Additionally, wearing shoes that are too tight can squeeze the nerves in your foot and cause a cramping-like sensation. So it is important to wear shoes that are wide enough, particularly not shoes with a very narrow toe box that squeeze your metatarsals together. The next thing that can cause cramps in the foot actually has to do with the bones in the arch of the foot itself. Your foot is shaped like an arch, and there are some bones right in the middle part of the arch called the cuneiform bones. Those can sometimes drop down, making the arch slightly unstable. As a result, your foot muscles, particularly the intrinsic muscles in the bottom of your arch, have to work harder to give your arch stability, and that can lead to cramping. And so if that's the case, if you tend to get cramping when you're on your feet for long periods of time, you may have an unstable arch. And one way to help with that is to put your thumb right on the middle part of your arch, and you may feel a tender bone that sticks out a little bit. If that's the case, put pressure into that bone and then pull your metatarsals down around that bone like this. That helps push the cuneiform bone back up into your arch and helps pull the metatarsal down to give the arch more of the bony stability so that the muscles don't have to work quite so hard. Now sometimes just doing that also applies pressure to trigger points within the intrinsic muscles in your foot. And that's a final tip that you can use to help relieve cramps is just applying pressure to the tender knotted points where you feel the cramp. So after the intense part of the cramp has let go, just applying a gentle pressure into the area where you felt the cramp. Often it's in the middle part of your arch right here, or you may even notice cramps higher up in your leg, in your calves, or in your long toe flexors. So find an area where you feel a knot in the muscle, and then just apply a little pressure. So often it's on the inner side of the calf, right there and hold for about a minute and a half to three minutes and then on the bottom of the foot right under those cuneiform bones. Now there are some other causes that are a little bit more serious that can cause cramps in the foot. Medical conditions like diabetes, neuropathy, or peripheral artery disease. For that reason, if you are having cramps in your foot, it is a good idea to see a healthcare professional about it. If you're in the St. Louis area and you're having foot cramps, we'd be happy to help you out here at More for Life. And if you're watching from somewhere else, but you'd like more tips to relieve foot pain, check out our foot pain relief playlist right over here. But before you go check that out, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.